You know, I had tickets to this game. 12th row right in the corner. This game? Wow, you're missing a goodie. Yeah, but I can go anytime I want. I just call up the front office and boom! boom. I get the bucks all the time. <laughs> but the crowds, you know, in the park, you know, after you've been in more than 10 games. It's really... Principal Bartlett's office. Yeah, okay. Alan's in the car phone. He's there with that new guy. I'm toss my dad's keys. I'll go let him in. Yeah. Alan found a new customer. We're checking him out. Doug Norberg. Does anybody know? Yeah. You know, guys like us, we have to be a little careful, you know? Right. Oh, Weissman! Oh, yeah! I love that man. Just tied it up. Oh, oh, he scored again? And I gotta get my old man to pay him some more money. Your old man owns that team? <clears throat> everyone, everyone, this is Doug. Doug, this is everyone. That is Troy, <laughs> that is Tad, and that is Tom. Hey, the hey, team man. I can't yeah. believe I said that. No, the <laughs> team man? Yeah, I don't know what came over me. Hey, I had great tickets to this game. Go up high, glove side, but Healy right there to spirit a spectacular... Yeah, I heard that you wanted to uh, buy a half a pound. Yeah. You can handle it. Hey, wait a second. I want to see the Channel 11 news here. Oh, no, 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 come on. No. That's with 60% of the precincts reporting. Once again, Proposition 58, the so-called substance abuse initiative, is uh, absolutely uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 On wait, the local front, Channel 11 projects a winner in the mayoral race. After 11 years in the city council, Michael Davis will step up. Hey! Yes! All right! Oh, more! Yes! Oh! Four more years! Oh, oh, four more oh, years! Oh, oh, four oh, more oh, years! Oh, oh, four oh, more oh, years! Oh, oh, years. Oh, my fellow citizens, fellow citizens, Here's one for dear old dad. Hey, let's hear yes. it for the mayor's son. Come on, give him a hand. Right, no, no, no. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's just get down to business. About that half a pound. Captain, you know, if we would all take time out every once in a while to appreciate life's bounties, this world would be a better place. Date went well last night, huh, Harry? Mm. <sighs> Date must have went real well. Hanson, have you taken a moment to appreciate life's many bounties this fine morning? <laughs> He's Davis's kid. What? Davis? The Davis? Thorn in our butt from day one, Mayor Davis? He's a major dealer. How major? Major, major, Captain. No, no. We bust the mayor's son, the first word out of his mouth will be entrapment. Well, you know, we can't blow it off. Uh, 
All right. But it's got to be by the book, airtight. And you better stay away from the kid's house because his father has not forgotten you or Pinhole. It'll be clean. And Hanson, make sure you got the right kid for the right reasons. Captain. Yeah. So, hey, this case I'm on. Mm-hmm. Three guesses who the dealer turns out to be. But I know him? Yeah. Know him like I know Penn Hall or like I know Dan Quayle? How do you know Dan Quayle? Just tell me who it is already. No, you have to guess. Dad Davis. As in? As in he's trying to sell us a half a pound of blow. Does anyone know about this at City Hall? I'm going to give you three guesses what hits the fan if you continue this case. Listen, just because he's some big shots kid doesn't mean he's above the law. What are you worried about? What about you? Listen, Davis isn't going to thank Jump Street because you bust his kid. He's going to want to blame somebody, and it certainly isn't going to be himself. He may win this battle, but you know who's going to win the war. Sweep somewhere else, huh? Don't ever do that again! We like this guy. It's your call. All right. Let's do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? <sighs> Harry? Hey. Harry! Huh? Harry, are you getting any sleep? Guys, it's nothing like that. You are peering into the face of love. Oh, my God. She's very special. We fit together like hand and glove. That sounds kind of sexual. That's disgusting. She stimulates me intellectually. Stimulates? Intellectually. All night. Whoa. Humana, 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 humana. Oh, if this is the angel of death, take me now. Hi, Harry. Hi, what a surprise. Um, I'd like you to meet everyone. Um, my roommate Doug, Tom, Sal, and Captain Fuller. Hello. This is Bobby. Hi, Hi Bobby. Hi, I'm, Bobby. I'm Doug. There's a screening tonight at the art museum. Early French surrealist films. Oh, cocktail? Care to join me? Of course. Great. Uh, where's the ladies' room? Um, you go down there and to the right. Can I get some fries with that shake? A large order. Boy, is my intellect stimulated. I knew it. Why is it because a woman is, is shapely, you assume she's not good for anything but sex? It disgusts me. I feel shame. Uh, me too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel it. Listen, I'll get Doug and we'll meet you at your car after class, all right? All right. I've got what he wants. Tad, you ready? I'm sorry. I, I had to go with my dad last night. He gave the key to the city to, uh, to Clint Eastwood. Did you meet him? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very cool. I'd love to hear about it. Give me a 10-page report by Friday. Oh, sure. Sure. I met Fred Murray once.
Tom Stanton. Your father needs to speak with you. Officer Hanson? Yes? I'm from Deputy Chief Mason's office. I've been instructed to inform you that your investigation of Tad Davis is terminated. So what exactly is happening, Jeff? Adam, don't get me wrong. You're doing a great job. Terrific. Then let us finish. Based on what I know about the case, I have to recommend terminating the investigation. Oh, well, it's a little bit late for that. My officers are probably... They've already been informed. By who? Officers of this office. Officers of this office? Jim, you stepped into my command without notifying me first. Let me guess. There's been no political pressure applied from upstairs. No one outside this department has anything to do with this. Well, now, there's a thought that never crossed my mind. Jim, we have a clean case here, and I expect to be supported by my superior officers. Look at him. You're just going to have to let this go. You can't have it. Can't believe they sat on us. Yeah, well, forget it. Another ten minutes we had him. Haven't you heard, my man? You cannot fight City Hall. No major business in that school. He's an arrogant little nerd. Can't touch him. Maybe we should deal with the bureaucrats the way they deal with us. I can't think that's sleazy. Look, our job is to find the big street connection at Hammond High. And Davis is your lead. Now, if this kid gets swept up with the rest of the garbage, it's his own damn fault. Very impressive, Captain. you guys yesterday, huh? What the hell were you standing? Hey, man, his dad pulled him out of school. Nothing happened. It didn't go down. My mom was sick. It's no big deal. Relax. You can do it right now. No, forget it. I don't want to do it now. I knew you'd wimp out. How's this for wimping out? I want to buy a pound. You can't get 12 grand. Let me ask you something. Why do you need so much? You better not be thinking about dealing at this school. It's a lot bigger world than just this school. All right, let me talk to a guy. What's the matter? Bobby, we've said so much to each other about so many things. But there's one thing I want you to know. Don't tell me you're a closet dialectical materialist. I've never told any woman this before. It's Tuesday, right? Oh. I'm leaving. I'm really sorry. No, it's late. No, 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 no. No, 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 you. You stay. But I don't want to impose on anybody. Uh, we'll both stay. Uh, you won't even know I'm here. I'll just... I promise. Okay, good. Good. Do that. What were you gonna say? Maybe we should wait till later. No, no, please tell me. Okay, I, I know we've only gone out a few weeks. And I don't want to rush anything. But I feel compelled. I, I care so much. Don't let emotion get the best of you, Carrie. How to hide it. I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, words just. This is work to get oh, before he slam back in the ring. One, two, three. That's the three. You know, this is a record. We actually spent a whole evening without you mentioning work even once. How did you do that? Mm hmm. You're still at Hammond, aren't you? Yeah. 
I thought Fuller was supposed to pull you out of there. How do you know that? That's police business. You're going after the son of the one man in the city who can nail you. The kid is moving a ton of drugs. So are hundreds of other dealers in this city. Yeah, and you wouldn't pull me off of them. This guy's gonna eat you alive. You have such confidence in me. You think that's the guy? We're getting close. I was just told that your school is under investigation for narcotics. Now, there's talk that you're involved. Now, don't lie to me. Are you doing drugs? No way, Dad. Come on. I swear. If you're in trouble, let's get some help. Well, come on, Dad. What do I know about drugs? I, mean, I know some kids, you know, in school who do them, but I don't need that stuff. Listen, Ted, I know we haven't had much of a chance to talk, and, and I just, uh... Well, I know, Dad, I know. Your door's open for me. I know that. Okay. All right, listen, I'll see you in the morning, okay? All right. Yes, sir. Board of Rights? They want me to explain why Tad Davis is still under police surveillance. He's not. Yeah, we're playing our game. It's just, uh, we're after a street connection, right? Oh, look, guys, I'm not gonna buy our own BS. The truth is, we were in there to nail Tad Davis. Well, you're talking like this is a frame-up, like he's some innocent kid. The truth is, he's one of the biggest dealers in the school, even if he is the Pope's son. You know, these people, they have to play the game until they win. So they become the players, the refs, the whole game. We're nothing but spectators. Captain Fuller, you were charged with improperly deploying police resources for personal reasons. You have presented no evidence that would persuade us that the surveillance of the mayor's son was not personally motivated. Therefore, it is the decision of this board to hereby suspend you as a police officer without pay for a period of 30 days. something you know when i was in the toilet over at intelligence it was fuller who pulled me out yeah when i almost lost my gig he was there fuller's the only one paying for what we all wanted we're gonna be okay with that no get out of town i swear to god he was a narc that's why they pulled him from school it's unbelievable, man. Here we go. Hey, shit faces. <laughs> oh, thief. Well, no wonder he dogged me on that buy then. Hey, my old man found out that he was a narc, and boom! He was gone. Which proves <laughs> my theory that on the old stepladder of life, cops are still waiting for the bottom rung. 
Wow. Couldn't agree with you more. Uh, guys, we have got to party big time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if you serious. would set me up with that pound, Tad, I could contribute to the party. Well, then I will just have to call Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Luggage, hurry. Listen, Doug. Oh, man. Look, if you uh, stay here for another night, uh, there's a good chance I might strangle you in your sleep. I don't want to do that. Yeah, and then I would have to arrest you afterwards and be real nasty for everybody involved. Look, uh, I'm really sorry, man. Don't worry about it. I got plenty of places to stay. apartment. Who are you? I'm Randy. This looks like my old place. Is this a 1518 Cedar Place? Yes, it is. I used to live here. This is... This is my old place. Oh, so that explains why you were pounding on my door at 3.30 in the morning yelling, I'm home. Uh, I must have really tied one on. Randy. Do we... I mean... What exactly happened last night? Coffee? Randy? Nothing. You were such a mess, I slept on the couch. Cream and sugar? Yeah. Sure. This place looks really great. You like it? You really did a lot with it. Oh, hey, it would it be all right if we, you know, we ate breakfast in the... In the, uh, on the table? Absolutely. Okay. 
So what made you so upset you landed at my doorstep? I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. You make an interesting Blanche Dubois. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Dorothy, um, my girlfriend, she kicked me out a little while ago. Ever since then, I've been uh, living on my friend's couch. Until last night when he kicked you out, too. I don't know what it is. I'm a decent, nice guy. Until not so long ago, Dorothy was like, thought I was the best thing since Deep Dish. Maybe she still does. Maybe. I haven't phoned her. I haven't talked to her. I really miss her. Sounds like two people who love each other but can't communicate. Did you ever really try talking to her about her needs? Needs? Well, we yelled a lot. <sighs> you really know a lot about this kind of stuff, don't you? When your heart's been broken as many times as mine, you get the hang of it. Why don't you go see her? Yeah. Maybe I will. Hi. Hi. Um, you were supposed to come over last night, remember? Right. Sorry. Want a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, you know, Fuller got suspended yesterday. You called it. It was an easy call. Well, none of us knew about it. Jackie, when we got pulled off this case, it wasn't because you told Davis, was it? I didn't tell Davis. But you told someone. I told my boss. I just wanted to stop this before somebody got hurt, before you got hurt. You betrayed my confidence. Don't say that. Is Davis going to give you a promotion for helping his kid? No, no, he's not. I was just trying to keep you from ruining your career, all right? Tom, don't walk away from me. You sold me out. And my captain got suspended because of it. That's exactly what I was trying to prevent if you hadn't been so damn self-righteous about the whole thing. Let me tell you something. If you want to play political games with Davis, fine. But I don't do business like that. But she was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I know, man. You got me jealous this time, Kev. Hey, I know that. I know you know. Your mama told me. I know that. Oh, my God. Take your shoes off. Uh, this is uh, your dad's house. Yeah. Feel a little hard work and get you? Um, I guess he, him being the mayor and all, he's, uh, he's not around a lot, right? No, actually, uh, he is. He's got an office in the back. You want to check it out? Oh, no, no, that's okay. You know, I see one mayor's uh, desk, I see them all. Nick! Kevin! Babe! <laughs> you guessed it, pal. Yeah. Around 10 o'clock, and uh, call the gang from the heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy is connected. We're gonna have 200 people here tonight with just 10 phone calls. You watch. A party? What about his parents? My parents are leaving for the weekend. That's why Norma Jean is coming out of the closet. Ah, Norma Jean at noon, man. This is gonna be historic. Absolutely, we're talking total obliteration. Babes that stick to you like Velcro. Just a variety of fun folks. <laughs> uh, uh, can I get another beer? Yeah, sure. Kitchen's downstairs. Bring some sandwich stuff back. Sure. Oh, um, thanks. Your father won't mind, right? I don't even think he's around. Okay, boys. <clears throat> Thank you.
Tad. Tad, listen, uh, we're leaving as soon as the car gets here, so take care of the house, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Tad, by the way, uh, Tad, well, we gotta go shopping. Huh, it's about time. Marion, the car's here, let's go. Where's the beers, Douglas? <laughs> and the sandwich stuff. <laughs> I, uh, it's all cleaned out. Oh, jeez. You think the old lady would hit the store once in a while? Hey, man, we gotta get the stuff for the blowout. Yeah. I'll go make a food run, okay? See you later, Douglas. You went ahead with this without talking to me first. Uh, you know, we just wanted to... You were making up for my being suspended. Cab, I'll bet a week's pay that this dealer, Jack, is going to be at Tad's bash this weekend. Now I think that's our chance to nail him. Pinhole, you won't have a week's pay to bet if you continue with this. Look, I understand what you guys are trying to do, and I appreciate it. But I want you to drop this case. I'm not going to sit by and give Davis the satisfaction of throwing your careers down the stinkhole after mine. He's up in his dad's room with uh, Lana. Aha. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting, pal, but there are a couple guys out.
Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. I'm really sorry about your son, Mayor Davis. Thank you. All I wanted to do was protect him, but... Uh, yeah. You know, you, you get caught up in these big things, uh, playing daddy, playing mayor, playing God. All I wanted to do was protect my family. That's very important to me. I realize there's nothing more devastating than losing a child. <clears throat> Look, I know that uh, I don't have any right to ask you this, but I need your help. What can I do? I want the man who killed my son. There is no man who killed your son. Get the man who sold him the drugs. Don't say it. I don't even hint that Tad would still be alive today if I'd let you bust him. I cannot live with that. Please. Just help me. You can have your job back. You can have whatever you want. Just get the dope off the street so that no father has to suffer what I've gone through. Who's the source? I don't know, I swear. Come on, Troy. You know Jack. AP? Well, maybe you can think a little harder unless you like the idea of making new friends in jail. Jail what for? You're a co-principal. You're an accessory to murder. Hey, I didn't sell him the drugs. Is Dad your friend? Were you dealing drugs? Yes. He died from those drugs. OK, Captain, we're going in. All right, all units, prepare to close. Yeah, it's Troy and the, and the new guy. Good to see you. Taking over Tad's business, huh? Yeah, yeah. Upwardly mobile. Real shame about Tad. Hey, live fast, die young. What's your name? Doug. Glad to get younger every year. <laughs> Has he been checked? Uh, no. Frank. I never trust anyone under 30, Troy boy. Boy's all clean. 
Good work, Troy. Just kept yourself from joining Tad. Douglas, I hear you want to buy a pound. Yeah. I got uh, 12,000 dead presidents. Troy says you can handle my order. Frank. Sad, Tad. Kid thought he ran the world because his old man was the mayor. Hell, his daddy could have been president. Wouldn't have made any difference. Columbia's finest. All units, close in now. Pleasure doing business with you. Jack, I'm going to take great pleasure in blowing you away. Turning my calls. You noticed? Don't do this to me. I think I deserve more than that. What? Look, I did it to protect you, okay? I know what I did was wrong. I'm asking you to forgive me. I can't. Sorry you feel that way. Yeah, well. Hey, Captain. 